Well, hello, Ray. So you've been listening to Joe Biden there, and he's promised to get the U.S. back to normal. Uh, bring us uh, up to date on how uh, Joe Biden is planning to do that. Over the weekend, he hit the ground running. You know, it's an interesting thing, even though Donald Trump is not conceding that he has lost, Joe Biden has chosen to act like he's the next president, to act like he's the guy who's going to be taking the oath of office just on the front of that building behind me in about 70 days' time. And part of that is to look like you're in charge. So he's appointed a top drawer commission to tackle the COVID-19 epidemic in the United States. It includes some of the biggest names in American medicine, some of the best known heroes from earlier pandemics and health threats. And also, as if he had anything to do with it, congratulated the team from Pfizer who have gone ahead and uh, developed what looks like a very promising vaccine to fight this pandemic. Donald Trump, has not conceded. Donald Trump is acting as if he's the guy who's going to take the oath of office there in just over two months. But Joe Biden has decided whether Trump concedes or not, whether Trump announces that he's going to uh, cooperate with the transition to a Biden era, the Biden team is going to go ahead as if all is going their way as if he's the next president, and they've started the work not only on the COVID commission, but on a transition team as well. Hey, absolutely, uh, Ray. But at the moment, the U.S. has more than 10 million cases of COVID-19. And ensuring that smooth transfer of power is absolutely critical at a time of crisis like this. Uh, uh, is Donald Trump helping, let's say, uh, Joe Biden with that transition of power? You know, it's funny. In some ways, the campaign hasn't ended. Both camps are saying the same kind of things they were saying during the campaign itself. Joe Biden, as you just heard there, talking for unity, uh, talking for uh, a nuanced response to an American crisis involving small sacrifices so we can get our lives back in this country. Uh, during the campaign, the president made fun of Joe Biden for always appearing in public in a mask, made fun of the American media for continuing to cover this as if it's a crisis, and predicted that it would go away after Election Day. Well, we're on the verge of a week after Election Day. We're setting records daily with new infections, and now we're approaching a quarter of a million dead, a disproportionate share of the world's fatalities from this novel coronavirus. Coronavirus. It is hard to know what happens next because Donald Trump is still in charge. He's going to be running the U.S. government until January 20th. His vice president, Mike Pence, is the leader of the coronavirus task force coming out of the current White House. If there is a disordered response, if there is a chaotic response, if there is a non-cooperative response, it's going to send a very bad message, not only to the American public that's about to lose one of the most family-centered holidays in our calendar, Thanksgiving, in a few weeks' time, but also send a bad message to the world about the seriousness of purpose uh, in tackling this virus here in the United States.